Hello, hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, theoretical medical professional. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello, hello. Oh, yes. So, tonight, Arc Nights. Yeah, unfortunately, circumstances did not allow for streaming on Saturday or last Saturday. So, that didn't, did not happen. I apologize for the lack of notice. But yeah, um, let's see. So yes, as of right now, I don't expect any deviances from the schedule. I haven't been informed of anything at the very least. So tonight and Friday should be the streams. Yeah, once again, we will see what happens Friday. But, but tonight, we know for sure is Arc Nights. But yes, so... Let's see, what else do we want to go over before we get started here? So yeah, one thing. I don't talk about this a whole lot, because I do find it somewhat obnoxious, but... If you would like to encourage me in my endeavors, I do encourage you to engage with this, either the stream or the VOD, whichever is, whichever is the one that you happen to be watching right now. Because it really does go a long way. If nothing else, it makes me feel better makes the algorithm feel better too, but it makes me feel better. Anyway, having said that, yes, I do believe I'm at a point where, or, well, okay, <laughs> let me rephrase that. I'm getting closer to a point where I can more consistently put more time into these streams. Yeah, more specifically for behind the scenes stuff, you know, the scene behind me, perhaps which has been a placeholder for mm, three years now, something like that. But yes. So, I'm not going to commit to anything. If you know anything about me at this point, it's that one thing, one of the biggest things that I don't like to do is to make any sort of commitment. But, ideally it shouldn't be too long before things start to... Yeah, before I have some more time to work on things, or before, rather, before I put more time into working on things. It is definitely more of a me thing than a, than a circumstances thing. But yes, anyway. So, that being said, I already talked about the schedule. I didn't talk about it in any detail, though. So, Friday. Yeah, Friday should be probably close to 9 p.m., Again, we will sort of see what happens. But yes, night stream is now, as you are watching this. So, let's get into the game. But only sort of, because before we get into the game, there is... Oh, one second, there we go. There is one thing that I would like to show. If this... There we go. But yes... Our favorite girl, on Cyrus, has a new skin on the Chinese version. As of yet, uh, yeah, as of yet unreleased in the English version, but yes. Very, very sort of summery fit. I like the new hammer. Very interesting. I like that it still has the, the lever. The presence of it implies to me that there's something, some function to it. It wasn't just a fluke of the initial design. Yeah, another interesting note is the figure in the background who looks a little bit like the Doctor, but seems to have their face exposed to some degree, which is not uh, a feature that the Doctor possesses. So, who that is is unknown to me. I suppose perhaps just a fully generic bartender simply there to not draw too much attention away from Pun Cyrus herself. But yeah. One thing I've been doing lately is I've been reading reading into operator uh, records a little bit more. I've mentioned those before, but we haven't gone over any on stream. There are a few that are available, I do believe. A few that are available to me. But yes, you do have to... Yeah, you have to uh, fulfill certain criteria to unlock them for certain operators or for all operators. And uh, yeah, 
each operator has their own criteria and all that. And I haven't fulfilled most of them for most characters, so it is what it is. But yeah, another thing, as we get into the game for real, for whatever reason previously, well, I say for whatever reason, there probably wasn't any reason for it, I just probably didn't notice. But uh, previously, I was outputting the, I was outputting the display on my other computer at 1280 by 720 and I don't know why I was doing that. <laughs> it was completely unnecessary to downscale it like that because yeah that is not even the computer that is streaming. But, yeah that is just the computer that is playing the game. So I don't know why I was doing that. I If I had to guess perhaps I set it to do that at some point previously when I was uh, still using just one computer to stream, maybe? But... No, because actually... No, because when I was doing the one computer setup, I was using the desktop, so... Yeah, I don't know what... I don't know why that would have been. Hmm. Anyway, one way or the other, it's fixed now. So yes, so the screen should look a little bit, or the gameplay should look a little bit crisper, because it's not being needlessly downscaled for no reason. Granted, it's not that big on the screen that it would matter that much, and the stream that I actually stream is, I think, 1280 by 720 anyway. So, anyway, a little bit of detail is being lost one way or the other. But yeah, anyway, so, we made a few revisions to the team since we found Croissant and Utage. And we also discover that Utage is also something of a freak herself. But yeah, since we found Utage and Croissant, I put them into the squad. But yeah, I don't know quite yet what I'm planning to do with either of them because I haven't... Well, we've seen Utage a fair amount, but I've not looked into Croissant previously. So I don't really know what she does necessarily that sets her apart from other defenders. But yeah, I've also decided I'm going to level up Keiobe and Tomimi somewhat. But yeah, I'm always a little bit reluctant to do that because, you know, in my mind, I always think, well, I can't, I can't reverse it. I can't reverse it. So what if I level up too many characters too much and there's no challenge anymore? But I think, uh, like, honestly, that's not really a concern. <laughs> It's really not a concern, because again, we have like, you know, three stars and two stars who have a very low level cap. And there's other challenges or other ways we could make things more challenging if things become too easy. And again, there does have to be, when I am playing this on stream, there has to be a certain, a certain level of uh, compromise, you know, because I can only spend so much time on this, you know. If I was just playing on my own time, you know, I could spend all day playing the game if I felt like it, and I had the free time. But, I suppose I could do that on stream also, but I don't want to stream that long. <laughs> it would be very tiring. But yes, streaming for two hours is kind of tiring for me already, so... I can scarcely imagine streaming for eight hours plus, and I have nothing but the, the utmost respect for those brave souls who do so. Yeah. Oh, also, another thing about Pond Cyrus. I don't know that I have it unlocked also, but I, I do know that Pond Cyrus also got an operator record added. And this one is available in the English server. But yeah. It doesn't seem like I have it. Yeah, okay. Uh, Elite 2 level 1. Alright, so... That's going to be a little while. I do believe... Since I got that keel back when we were doing chapter four, was it? Yeah, four, I think. But yeah, back when we were doing chapter four, I got another keel. So I can upgrade my base. I just haven't yet. And with that, I should be able to now unlock what I need to... Yeah, I don't remember what exactly we need to do to 
up or update yeah promote units again but I do think Pont Cyrus is probably pretty high on the priority list but he's not who I am prioritizing right now that is Kaobe and Tomimi and probably also uh you know <laughs> croissant there we go that's her name Confirm. Indeed. I don't know what you said, but I agree. Alright. You do look very cool. But yes. So now we've got new skills. But yes. Really hot knives. Attack interval is reduced slightly and attacks prioritize enemies with the highest defense. But yeah, Kaobe is definitely a unit that I have been... One that I am most strongly interested... Well, not most strongly, but... One that I have been more strongly interested in than most. On account of her very sort of... Her, she has three very different... Uh, three very different skills that give her three very different modes of attack. So, I think... I don't know. I think I would... If I had to pick a character to Elite 2, other than, of course, Pon Cyrus. If I had to pick a character to Elite 2, Keobe would probably be high on the priority list. Yeah, Keobe, Amia, um, Pon Cyrus. I don't really know who else I'd really want to Elite 2. But yeah, we're definitely going to do so for some characters. Because yeah, there's definitely a lot of characters out there who have interesting mechanics that I'd like to explore a little bit. But I think probably, unless we, unless I end up getting into very difficult content at some point, probably we're not going to see a whole lot of Elite 2 characters. But yeah, again... There is a part of me, perhaps uh, a somewhat foolish part of me, that does want to try to keep going at as low a level as I can get away with for as long as possible. But yes, anyway. So, the bonus from Thresher, the bonus damage from Thresher, will definitely synergize well with really hot knives. And I think that'll be good for fighting the warriors. Oh yes, as we were saying, Tomimi is up next. But yes, we will promote her as well. I also agree with that, probably. Indeed. But yes, so that gives us access to Gaviel's Protection Plan. Each attack is a 50% chance to randomly trigger one of the following effects. Suns the target for 0.6 seconds. The attack deals 170% damage, or that attack deals AoE damage. But yeah. Again, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure how much we're going to how much value we're going to get out of Tomimi specifically. I guess the enemies we're fighting don't have that much defense, that, you know, her 95% damage buff now. I think, I don't think it was that high before. But yes, her 95% damage buff is probably going to, still going to do a lot of damage, even though she's losing out on the ability to ignore defense. Because yeah, I think... I'm pretty sure most enemies have less defense than she has attack. And I suppose we will switch over to Gaviel's protection plan, just so we can see it. Ah, right, I also need to uh, level up croissant. I suppose I don't need to, but I want to. Indeed. 
Ah, right. I remember what her her next skill does vaguely. Indeed. But yes. So magnetic hammer. Yeah, that causes a yeah knockback. Bumps nearby enemies away moderately, stunning them for 2.5 seconds and dealing 240% attack as physical damage to them. So yeah, so that is a defensive recovery, manual use skill. So that could be good if she needs to get enemies off her quickly. So yes. Yeah, and Miracle Field has a 10% chance to resist physical and arts damage. The allies in the four surrounding tiles obtain half the effect. Oh, that's very good. Hmm. But yeah, if I remember correctly, a resist effect causes all, or like removes all damage. Like it just doesn't, doesn't do damage to you. I know that there's a distinction between dodge and resistance, or resisting, resistance being a stat. Um, but yeah, I think that there is a difference between dodging an attack and resisting it. But... I don't remember what the details are specifically. If I remember correctly, it's a little bit counterintuitive. I think it's that... I don't know. I think there are some abilities that... I don't know. For some reason, I want to say that resisting an attack essentially treats it as though it didn't happen, whereas dodging it does still treat it like it happened. So some effects can still affect you even though you dodged, whereas they wouldn't affect you if you were to resist the attack. I don't know that that's true, though. <laughs> so I'm not going to say it with too much confidence. But yeah, I'd have to look into that a little bit. I know that there's a distinction, though. I know that there's a distinction. But yes, anyway. I suppose we will... Hmm. Let's see. I guess... Yeah, auto, auto defense gives her more defense, which could be good, but we don't have a whole lot of control over it, and we do also have Quora on our team for if we just need raw defense. Leave the defense to me. So we'll see about uh, Magnetic Hammer. But yes, all that being said, I don't think there are any other revisions that I really want to make. Utage is probably okay as is. Astesia is on the team mostly for her arch damage. Yeah, Estelle is here for the crocodile or Archosauria theme. I don't remember what Estelle is based off of. But yeah. I suppose one thing. We haven't done an operator spotlight in a little while, and I was going to start getting prepare or start preparing one for Estelle, but I uh, ran out of time unfortunately today. But um, but yeah. Estelle is next up on the list, I suppose that is to say. But yeah, and one other thing that I wanted to draw some attention to is that I've recently sort of looked into the, like, numbers a little bit more. Learned a little bit more about sort of, well, yeah, I was going to say learn more about the stats. I didn't learn about the stats. I already, I didn't learn anything. I didn't know about how attacks work or anything like that. But what I did realize is I've been drastically, drastically underestimating the efficacy of guards. We already talked about this a little bit with how my usual strategy has just sort of been a kill box, wherein I try to funnel as many enemies into a specific area guarded by as many defenders as I can while those enemies get shot at by a sniper or a caster or maybe one of both if I'm feeling particularly fancy. But yeah, it's a strategy that has worked on a lot of maps, but it has worked less and less as time has gone on, as we've been playing through the game, and things have gotten a little bit more complicated. But, uh, but yeah. One thing that I didn't realize was just how dramatic the difference in time to kill on a guard is versus on a defender. Yeah, I don't have a good visual for you all, but I have been keep, I have been doing a little bit of number crunching on my own. And uh, yeah, so for instance, Korra at Elite 1 maximum level, with uh, fighting against one of the sort of standard uh, Archosauria warriors that we've been running into. Yeah, fighting one of them with its defense buff up, because of course the, they would have their defense buff up. 
She is blocking them after all. But yeah, fighting one of them with the defense buff up, if there was no other damage being done to that enemy, Aura would defeat them in 26.4 seconds for 22 attacks. Astesia, on the other hand, would defeat them in 7.5 seconds. So yeah, I had always assumed that, or you know, I had always known that guards dealt more damage. It was obvious, you know, they are a higher damage unit simply because they are not solely focused on defense like defenders are. But I never realized just how big of a difference it was. Because yeah, you could really, you know, in a lot of cases, it's probably going to be more efficient to place perhaps one or two guards in a given location rather than one defender. Because while the defender will be able to block more enemies than any one guard, they won't necessarily be able to block as many as two guards if those two guards both happen to have two block, which is not guaranteed. But even without the ability to block as many enemies at once, you know, being able to take out enemies faster is a big asset that I really wasn't really wasn't uh, expecting. Because yeah, I had assumed that you know maybe maybe a guard would be taking out enemies eh, twice as or like you know in half the time, maybe maybe not even as much of a margin as that. But uh, but yeah, that is a very significant very significant difference. And yeah, even uh, Bee Hunter. At the same levels. I should have specified that Astesia in this hypothetical is also at max level. Elite 1 max level. But yes. Uh, even Bee Hunter, who has a much more, or rather, who has a purely physical damage dealing kit, and thus would be more inhibited by the deep high, I guess not high, but the higher defense of the warriors, would still be able to take them out in... 9.3 seconds, or 9.36 seconds. But yes, again, it's a very, very significant di difference. Not quite as significant as Astesia, but of course, you know, Astesia has the benefit of not having to worry about defense on a relatively high defense enemy. But yes, Matoe Maru, however, also has a very similar... <coughs> yeah, I guess I was going to say a very similar time to kill an identical time to kill uh, to Astesia with a, another 7.5 seconds. But yeah, and this is not even taking into account the fact that most guards have abilities that give them more attack, rather than abilities that give them more defense, like defenders have. So with those active, the time to kill would be even lower. But yes, as we have seen to some extent from Estelle, so again, it didn't really sink into me until I started doing the map. Sit. But yeah, given the way that damage works in this game, you know, it's not just dealt out in a constant stream of a certain amount of damage per second. It comes in intervals with each attack. Yeah, a single, you know, a even a relatively small defense buff or a relatively small attack buff can still reduce the amount of attacks that you need to do by one or so, which would uh, save about a second, depending on how often your unit attacks. But yeah, so again, it's good. <laughs> this is all to say that, that guards are good, and I've been very, very much underestimating the effectiveness of guards because I assumed, you know, you want defenders to block. But if enemies are killed before they can get past you, then you don't need to block as many of them. Anyway. Ah, did we already see the... Yes, we, we must have seen the cutscene for this one. Wait, hold on. Right, this is... <laughs> this is the mission that we already did. So let's uh, back up. I was going to say, I didn't think that we had seen the... That we had seen the intro cutscene to this mission, and uh, that's because we didn't. Anyway, so, like I said, guards good. Hi, priest. How is it looking? 
I have to say, that cannon was so astoundingly loud I almost got blown out of the thing when it fired. I'm asking you about the big ugly thing. I was just sharing my personal situation with you. It went exactly as we expected. Firing the cannon in succession caused it to overheat. But it went very well. Yes, I have to say it was very effective, despite the fact that it gave me quite the scare. In any case, we will have to fix it up after we get back. Yeah, the ceremony happened way too quickly. The Big Ugly wasn't ready yet. I was hoping to wait until we finished it before we were talking to the other tribes around to the ceremony, or talking to the other tribes about the ceremony, but they'd already gone ahead with it. It's okay. It all turned out fine. I still remember how shocked everyone was when they first saw the Big Ugly thing. <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, we've accomplished our goal. This will set in motion a new order, a new era, yes, an age of machines. That has such a nice ring to it. What do you think of the age of Big Ugly? Or maybe the age of the High Priest, too. Yes, that sounds almost as cool as I do. Let's just call it the age of machines. Sheesh, you have a lot going for you, but you're still behind the times. Now that you've learned what it's like outside, you should try to expand your horizons. Here, check out my outfit. Don't you think it's trendy? Looks smart? I do like the scarf on him. Yes, he's got a, a nice little fit there. Is, that a, is he holding a briefcase? Interesting. Very articulate with his feathers. You're so short I can't even see it. What does trendy mean anyway? Ah, never mind. My mistake. I shouldn't have brought this up, but no matter. I'll pick out some clothes befitting you, our next great chief. I don't mind how I dress. Anyway, I just got word from the tribesmen who stayed behind. They managed to steal an engine. What? Really? Yes, apparently they got it from the transport Gavil used to use to get here. Wonderful. I can't wait to take a good look at it. Oh. Come to think of it, I can go check it out right now. I'll see you later. The High Priest the same as ever. Hey, who's the Liberi talking to the leader? What, you new here? That's the High Priest. You know, the Big Ugly's pilot. What? I want to pilot the Big Ugly. Give it up. Before it was finished, that thing used to explode about just about every day. So many hands got caught up in the explosions, in the end no one wanted to pilot it. Then the High Priest came along, and he somehow managed to come back alive every time it blew up. No kidding? He's that good? Yeah, I got no, tri no idea what tribe he's from, but we all call him the High Priest now. Hmm. Isn't that Yogi over there? Hey, Yogi. Oh, it's you two. I thought you were taking care of your brother. Where is he? Actually, I'm going to the leader to talk about that. You idiot! She's the Great Chief now! Oh, I'm going to the Great Chief. What's the matter? Great Chief, my brother has caught the stone disease. Speak Sargonian. Oh, yes, sorry, I'm not very good at speaking it yet. How did he catch the disease? He wanted to mine more ores and went deeper into the mine. He didn't even listen to me when I told him not to. That idiot. Didn't I tell you to stay away from the mine's depths? Where is he now? Gaviel took him away for treatment. Gaviel? Yes, it looks like Gaviel actually became a doctor. My brother was in a lot of pain, but he seemed much better after she patched him up a bit. So, she really meant with it when she said she's a doctor now. She wanted me to pass along a message, too. What is it? She said she was coming for you. She looked angry. Hmm. I bet she's just upset her our leader defeated her. That's right, leader. What you did back there, that boom. That was amazing. You didn't call her great chief. You didn't either. My thoughts exactly. Get off my back, you moron. She'll always be our tribe leader. Why don't you get off my back? I just haven't gotten used to calling her that yet. 
Gabiel isn't like that. Great Chief, I trust Gabiel. Yes, I trust her too. Your brother will be fine. Where is he? At Tomimi's tribe. Tomimi's? You should go get your brother later. Understood. I'm certain Gabriel's here to get her engine back. You'll have to go through me to get it. I'll admit that Gabriel's strong, but she thinks her fists are everything. He's wrong. If she's here for her engine, then I'll give her another taste of the Big Ugly's might. But I won't give it back to her. This engine is very important to our tribe. No, our future. Did you just mention Gabriel? Oh. <laughs> Definitely wasn't the voice that I would give Flint, but anyway. Flint, did you hear that? Why don't you cry in your bed some more about the great chief? And why don't you go home to your mama and have her teach her or what to call uh, teach you what to call the great chief? Knock it off, you two. Yeah. You Kemar. You don't want her to come, do you? If she comes, I'll defeat her. So you... So you don't want... Eh, you don't want her here? I'll stop her. Very well. I'll be going then. Back already? Uh, where... Where is Gaviel? This way, rainforest way too humid. I barely hiked a day and I'm already drenched in sweat. I haven't seen a soul in the two days I've been here. <laughs> Thank goodness I wore my swimsuit underneath. What a lifesaver. I'm really getting my money's worth with it. Really, though. Even when I climb the trees here, all I see is more trees. Just where is that ceremony Gaviel was talking about? Hey, is anyone here? Hey, Gaviel, your tail's tiny. Hey, Doctor, maybe it's time for you to change that hood of yours. <laughs> they aren't within earshot. <sighs> if something happens to the Doctor, what am I supposed to tell Anya? I guess I shouldn't worry, since Gaviel said she'd take care of the Doctor, but I'm not sure that's all that reassuring, knowing her. Uh, the more I think about it, the more worried I am. Maybe I should try knocking a few trees down to make some noise. According to Yogi, I should find Gaviel if I go this direction. Whoa! Finally, a person! Hey there! I haven't seen clothes like that before. Who are you? Huh? What are you saying? You don't understand me? Uh, is this for real? Gaviel didn't tell me people here speak a different language. But it looks like you can hold your own in a fight. Hey, come on. This is how you people treat visitors. Just as I thought. You're strong. Before I take Gaviel down, I'll have some fun with you first. Hmm? Did you just say Gaviel? Whatever. I'm in a pretty bad mood right now. If you want to fight, then bring it on. All right, and while they fight, we will have a conflict of our own. Let's see, where is going to be attacked first? I feel like it's probably the lower path. I guess we have a lot of uh, deployment points, so maybe I shouldn't be too sparing. But yes, it definitely looks like the lower path is the one that's going to see the most activity. Who do I want to put? Estelle is probably a decent lead. Now, as for... Okay, yeah. We don't have a whole lot of tiles around here, though, apparently. Hmm. But yeah, I suppose Estelle... Ooh, okay. So that is an Impaler. So whatever we do, we're going to want to have our... Yeah, hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Um... Alright, Prasant, you're up first. 
yeah, whatever we do, we're definitely going to want to have more damage on that top row sooner rather than later. Yes, a shredder. Oh, okay. Able to destroy wooden stumps. Oh, so they can destroy the... Well, I was going to say these wood stumps. Yes, that is exactly what that description implies. Um, let's see. I think that, given circumstances... Yeah, Estelle is really putting in putting in the work. Anyway, given circumstances, I think Tomimi here would probably be good. Yes, maybe having a little bit more range on her would also be good, but... Hmm. I do hope that uh, Keiabe doesn't encounter too much trouble. Yeah, it looks like we've got the Shaman up top, which I'm not... Oh, now... Well. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like what's going on here. Not least of which because I uh, can't heal uh, Tamimi. Hmm. Yeah, so... Ooh. I guess, yeah, Tamimi will be healed, but, you know, gradually. Okay, so they can take out the mushrooms. Hmm. Alright, I don't like what's going on here, so let's see if Utage can help us out a little bit. So yes, a little bit of help from Esteezy would also not go wrong. Jessica is doing okay, but unfortunately with the way I've positioned Utage now... Um, do we need that healing on Utage? Not really right now, I don't think. Mm, maybe maybe sooner rather than later. Um, yeah, okay. You can take a nap, Utage. Alright, we've just lost Estelle. Hmm. So what is the strat to deal with the fellows with the saws? Hmm, I don't think Utage is going to last too, too long, but she's doing okay. You might need to take another nap. Hmm. Okay, I definitely... we definitely need some more damage over on this side. Yes, unfortunately... actually, um... If... hmm... Well, I don't like this, necessarily, especially since Utage has now gone down. Um... Oh dear, what? Did we... Oh, we just lost Perfumer. Hmm. Okay. So that's bad. Yes, so these stumps are... Now... Oh, what am I doing? I didn't realize there was a range tile there. So we've lost our medic. Fortunately, Aura is very strong. Hmm. Can we do this? But yeah, okay, so it seems that they prioritize tiles with enemies on them, or with allies on them. Did we... hmm. Because, yeah, they didn't attack any of these stumps that d didn't have allies on them. Oh. Oh, dear. I did see those enemies, but I thought that we, uh... I thought that we had defeated enough that whichever ones leaked through wouldn't end the mission. Sadly, I was wrong. But yes. After several attacks, destroys giant mushrooms and stumps, rendering them unable to be deployed upon. Hmm. Well, we were just talking about, uh... We were just talking about the need for guards, or rather the effectiveness of guards. 
So I suppose maybe we should prioritize guards a little bit more. So yes, they have very high defense, apparently. The Shredders. Yeah, higher defense than any of the others. And by a not insignificant margin. That's it. So yes, with that in mind, positioning is going to be a little bit tricky. So, we're going to want to preserve some of these tiles. I think Astesia here could be good. So, I suppose, yeah, Gaviel here, Astesia here. Yeah, Gaviel should be, well, actually no. Since this is, we need to defend two rows here. Since we need to defend two rows, probably it would be best to use someone like uh, Perfumer, who can target multiple allies at once. Yeah, plus if the, if the Shredders do end up attacking her, Perfumer can heal herself while not sacrificing healing for everyone else. Of course, putting a putting perfumer on this tile would make her a little bit safer. <clears throat> yeah, things went pretty okay on top. I just didn't have uh Yeah, I didn't have the damage I needed where I needed it. Yeah. Um Jessica was placed too far back, and so she wasn't able to contribute once enemies started piling up. And so, yeah, the enemies that uh, the enemies that we just talked about her croissant. There we go. The enemies that croissant was blocking weren't getting uh, taken out fast enough, and so they piled up. We'll be fine if we stick together. Yeah, I probably could have used magnetic. Uh, probably could have used magnetic hammer a little bit more. Yes, I think this is probably an okay place to put Estelle. Right? Yes, Jessica, we want a little bit earlier. I want to use Myrtle's skill sooner rather than later. Yes, now we can place... I guess it doesn't matter if we place Croissant here or here. But here would give us more time with, uh, yeah, give us more time with enemies in range of Jessica. Yes, Myrtle doesn't have any healing on her, but she shouldn't be getting attacked enough to really make that matter. But yes. Before too long, we'll probably want Gaviel up here. Or at the very least, we'll want her there at some point. Yes, the downside of putting Estelle where she is, is that... Hmm, actually... Do we... Hmm, Tamimi is probably not the best choice here, because yeah, once the skill is active, she'll only be able to attack enemies up there. Yes, Esthesia will be good once we get the opportunity. I suppose, yeah, my... Masters are going to prioritize, naturally prioritize enemies up here. Because they prioritize enemies further along in their route. Well, actually, I guess they're... I was thinking of it as in terms of whoever is closest to the uh, defense point, but I guess that's not the case. It's, yeah, again, whoever is closest to where they're going, basically. Which could very well, it doesn't seem to be, but in some cases it could very well be the enemies on the bottom. So, not in this case, it seems. Hmm. Good damage. So yeah, that is the good thing with KO Bay, since we're going to be facing, facing enemies with high defense, they're going to be taking extra damage from really hot knives. 
basically us. We're probably okay on deployment points right now, so we probably don't need to worry too much about keeping Myrtle around too much longer. But yes, Estelle can keep causing damage. I don't like... I guess, yeah. As much as I didn't really like Tomimi where in the lower area, I especially don't like her here. Because yeah, if her skill is up, she just can't attack. Which is mm, less than ideal. Okay, we definitely need healing now. Uh, I'm glad you're ready because I didn't seem to have been quite so ready myself. Okay. But we're doing okay. Perfumer's holding her own. Yeah, Tomimi is outside of healing range for anyone, but she will be receiving passive healing from Perfumer. Oops. Yeah, she will be receiving passive healing from Perfumer. And she's not anywhere where enemies are likely to attack her. But yes, we want to take out these Shredders as soon as possible. Yes, now we can have KFA still active and we can start taking out enemies a little bit faster. Yes, Estelle. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this is kind of bad. Um. Yes. I mean, you might have been the wrong choice here. But yes, as we've seen before, Utage cannot heal herself or cannot be healed, but she does heal herself from attacking, and she does get healing from the passive effects of her humor's talent. Which we... there we go. But yes. Okay, so we got this. We've got this under wraps. Yeah, we just had one minor incident, and everything was fine. But yes, very good, very good. Yes. Uh, we might as well put a little bit more damage up top here. Just wrap things up a touch faster. There we go. Quick and easy after a little bit more thought. Where are the others? The people of the Great Wood Tribe are gone. I heard that the leader was defeated by an outsider. The Firestone and Thick Tail tribes were defeated by a stranger carrying a pile of weapons on her back. Some of the tribes decided to join up with Zumama. The truth is, Zumama's truck managed to drum up a formidable front. If I weren't with Gabriel, I might have gone with Zumama myself. Doesn't matter. Your tribes will be enough. Hey, can we really challenge Zumama on our own? Yes. Gaviel can definitely beat Zumama's giant machine. Then I will become the great chief and force Gaviel to stay. And I think that this is not a good idea. But this is the only way to make her stay. Don't forget why we, why we formed Gaviel's Will. Gaviel's Will is not just a tribe. It is an alliance dedicated to the vision of Gaviel as the Great Chief. I agree with Tomimi. I'll only recognize Gaviel as the Great Chief. That's right. Gaviel should be the one to lead us. Ha. Huh. <laughs> if I disagreed, I wouldn't be here either. Beta doesn't like it, but Beta will follow. All right. You head over to Zumama's tribe and wait outside for me. Got it? Yes. Right. This is all for Gaviel. All for Gaviel! Doctor! Everyone! Great! I finally found you guys. <laughs> Doctor, you had me worried. Huh? Blaze, why are you wearing your swimsuit and carrying some kid on your back? I ran into this little girl on my way over here. She started hitting me for some reason. I beat her up, of course, and beat all, down all our friends, too. Gotta hand it to her. She's not bad in a fight. Didn't go down easy, so I brought her along. Figured you could help me ask why she wanted to fight me. 
It's Kemar. She probably just thought you looked strong. She just loves fighting. Uh, that means something coming from you. I don't love fighting. I'm just a hands-on problem solver. Whatever. Where am I? Morning, Kemar. Gaviel, what are you doing here? You bumped into my friend, fought her, and lost. Eh, welcome back, kid. Hey, Gaviel, what's she doing? What's with this bowing? Gamar, what gives? I felt a greater strength from her than anything I ever felt from Zumama. I'm not interested in you anymore, Gaviel. Looks like you can talk to her, so please, ask her to teach me. Uh, she wants you to teach her. What? I guess she thinks you're strong, so she wants to become your disciple or something. Doctor... What do I do? I've never been in a situation like this before. You do your best. <sighs> How about we just let her follow us for now? Sure. Hey, come on. Come on with us. Come with us. Okay. But call me Flint. Come to think of it, what happened to the ceremony? Doctor, why don't you explain it to Blaze? Well, it was this whole big thing, and the big thing uh, shot us, um, and it was just kind of a mess. She'll let her people get orpathy just to build her machines. I won't stand by and let that happen. What are we waiting for, Doctor? Let's go. Wait, we still got somewhere to be. Huh? Of course, we must reach Very the well waterfall. Done, Thank you. Leos. It is definitely, it's a little bit more complicated than that from what we've seen. It's not that the that she has sent the people into the mines. It is that they are perhaps uh, unfortunately loyal to her to the degree that they will willingly do so. Sit. Momentary rest. A waterfall has water and an ocean has water. What difference does it make where you decide to fool around? Lance it too, I have a serious question. Go ahead. Isn't your battery running low? Oh, don't worry about that. Before we left, the lovely Miss Closure fitted me with a brand new, extra long lasting battery. Theoretically, I could function for a week without needing a charge. The aircraft is also carrying spare batteries, so you don't have to worry about me. Okay. Uh, now where did Kay run off to? On her way back, the kiddo suddenly hopped to her feet and jetted away. It's true. We should be concerned about Kayabe's condition, but considering her strength and constitution, we don't need to be too concerned. That's true. <sighs> I'm bored. We fixed up the aircraft, patched up the wounded Gaviel sent over, and now we got nothing to do. Now we can't speak the local language, it's just a cherry on top. I should have gone to that ceremony with a doctor. The aircraft is an important Rhodes Island asset. It is our responsibility to guard it well. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm a pilot. I know how to deal with the aircraft. You're lucky, Lancet, too. You can just switch into sleep mode when you're bored. I was out for, t I was out for 12 hours yesterday, so I'm wide awake. Well, actually, I have no ability to feel boredom. Although, I do understand what this feeling is, Mr. Dillon. The lovely Miss Closure complains about these things a lot, and it causes her to behave in strange ways. <sighs> I think about this sometimes, Lancet too. Are we totally sure you and the other bots don't have a human crammed up in there anywhere? We don't. My interior is a precisely designed circuitry construct. Do you want to see? Although, since I have been programmed with a female personality, I may act out in unexpected ways when presenting my body to the opposite sex. Uh, I'll pass. If I was going to see anything, I'd definitely prefer a swimsuit at a time like this. A swimsuit? Yeah, it's summertime. That's when you put on a swimsuit and go play in the water. In that case, I'll play an audio recording of various sea sounds for you. <laughs> no thanks, it'd only make me feel worse. Then, maybe Mr. Dylan would like to see me in a swimsuit? Definitely not. Oh, 
Sorry, I am only a robot after all. <sighs> uh, I'm the one who's sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Don't worry about it. By the way, have you seen the sea, Mr. Dillon? Um, I have. I'm thinking it was that time we loaned Mr. Silverash an aircraft last summer after a schedule change mixed things up. I flew him there. It turns out the place was a major vacation spot. Master Silverash made me a VIP guest. Man, that's when I realized how us poor folks could scarcely imagine what the rich live like. Here, I, here, I've got the pictures with me. You long for this kind of life, Mr. Dillon? Hmm? I mean, that was a really great couple of days, but if my whole life was like that, I don't think I'd ever get used to it. I'm more of an instant noodles in the cockpit kind of guy, with an inverted sleep schedule to boot. Oh, you can't do that. Let me formulate a healthy lifestyle plan for you. No thanks, I'm good. Too bad. The lovely Mish Closure created this feature for me, but no one uses it. Not her. Not the doctor. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh, but that reminds me. The tribes here live so much better than I thought. They really want for nothing. Yes, life here is less convenient and comfortable than the world we know, but not to any significant degree. According to my records, your health has improved in the past two days. Really? Really? Turns out returning to nature will do that for you. Huh. I guess this is the life that everyone came from. Oh, yeah, I just remembered. Gaviel said something about a gigantic waterfall in the rainforest that way. I'd love to go there when the doctor gets back. They may have already gone that way. The doctor is a good boss, and I know our friends wouldn't abandon us to go play under the waterfall. Well, bad news, Dylan. True. Then let it, let's wait patiently. Is there a Dylan here? That's me. Huh? You speak Sargonian? Yes, and you're here with the machine. Right, it must be you. The one called Doctor asked me to give you this note. Hmm? Let me... let's see here. Uh, Lancet 2 looks like we've got work to do. That is a pretty nice waterfall. Wow, I could hear the roar of the water from so far away. I never knew waterfalls even got this big. Huh, I didn't steer you wrong, did I? Sure enough, I guess I'll forgive you. <laughs> it really is an incredible waterfall. Looks like Tamimi isn't here yet, so let's take a little break. Hooray, I can finally get some use out of my swimsuit. Flint is not amused. Flint forgot her swimsuit, tragically. You got a lot of fight in you, squirt. Mr. well aware of the language barrier, communicates with her stance rather than words. <laughs> Seeing as I've got nothing to do, we might as well go a few rounds. Blaze is really going at it hard with that girl over there. Sure is. I don't see what's so fun about fighting. I mean, you seem to enjoy it quite a bit for not seeing what's fun about it. I heard you singing a whole nother tune last time you was fighting, Utage. <laughs> I guess you're right. Hey, Croissant, that isn't a swimsuit, is it? <laughs> you got me. It's just some outdoorsy getup I snagged. Plenty waterproof, so we can pretend it's a swimsuit. You're a free all function over form kind of girl, huh? But, hey, it might not be a beach, but playing around a waterfall is pretty great, too. It's got that real back-to-nature vibe. I bet I didn't bring my camera. You got that right. I ain't never been out in the wilds like this before. I'm having a ball. Hey, what's that? Am I seeing things? Huh? Isn't that K? How do you like the waterfall, Doctor? It's pretty nice. I... I'll tell you what I do like. I do like, uh... I do like... Oh, can I not? Okay. I can't make the, the text go away while the while there's uh, a prompt on screen. 
but I do like Blaze and Flint having their epic confrontation in the background. I like that Keabe is also dressed for the occasion. I gotta say, this is a much more cutesy expression than I would have expected from Gaviel. Ah, I used to love here coming here to bathe. From here, it's just a short walk to Zumama's tribe. I guess I was going to try and hide the, the text, but we can see Blaze and Flint just fine. When I got that letter from Timimi, I never thought things would turn out like this. Oh, Doctor, there's one thing that's been really gnawing at my brain these past few days. We're friends, right? I want to ask you about it. Of course. You think... Doctor... What's happening? I'm trying to talk to the doctor here. Look over there. <clears throat> Is that... Eh? I found it. The Mushroom Sea. Bath time. Looks like she's still off in La La Land. But she's just so cute rolling around in the water like that. Yeah, stupid kid. Hold on, babe. Ah, that was a new Tage line. But she's just so cute rolling around in the water like that. How about we just let her play for a while? Anyway, Doctor, what I wanted to ask was... Do you think my tail's gotten fatter? Well, I've got to say, I haven't been paying attention. So, uh, I apologize. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have asked you. You don't know. Tamimi's tail wasn't always that fat. I don't want mine to end up like hers. What do you think about Zoo Mama? Huh? What do I think about her? Eh, I guess I think she's real tough and she can make a, quite a machine. Gaviel! There's Tamimi. You done with that thing? Yes. Mm hmm? What? You're a cutie. Gaviel, I never knew you had a friend like this. I thought you just hung around with other musclehead lunks like you. That was uncalled for. I feel like that's the kind of thing that you would say, Gaviel, to be honest. She's got perfect skin, refined features, and a gothy outfit that really goes with her complexion. Gothy? Is that in? Well, no, but it's popular with a certain crowd. I picked it up from a magazine. They said it's how they dress in the outside world. Oh no, girl, honey. You've got a critically flawed understanding of fashion here, but that's okay. I mean, look at this place. I totally, I get, I totally get why you'd come up with something like that. Uh, but don't worry. You just let Big Sister Utage fill you with her bottomless, extra thick fashion wisdom. Gaviel, I'm borrowing her. W what? What? The worst fate for Tomimi. Sure, knock yourself out. Anyway, we're all here. I'll see if I can get Kay to sober up. Break time's over. Kay is back in the fight. Gaviel, she's making a break for it again. What? <sighs> Everybody, go get your clothes on. We're get we're going after her. That direction. It's the way to Zumama's tribe. Hold on, did you really change that fast? Wait up! Why bother changing? Just go. But yes, we are getting a little bit late here, but not that that late. But yes, it looks like we have more fungus to contend with. Hmm, and we've got a defense tile too. Hmm, 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 hmm. That feels vaguely worrying to me. I get the feeling we're going to need that defense quite a bit. Um, hmm. But yes, anyway. We are going to keep going for a little bit longer, I think. We're going to do at least this mission, I do believe. But I will step away for just a moment. I have returned. All right. So, mission seven. Yes. So. I get the feeling that something very, very bad is going to come down this area here. And given how late we are into the event, I imagine that we're probably going to start... We're probably going to... I don't know if start's the right word, but... We're probably going to encounter... 
start implies that we will continue doing so. But we're probably going to encounter the big ugly thing. So that's a little bit troubling, but we'll probably survive. We could be stronger, but we could be weaker too. Ah! Another failure. Flying in a nice arc this time, though. Where did he land? No idea. He'll come running back there after a while anyway. Let's keep going. Okay, what does this tube connect to? <laughs> this looks like a good port. I'm plugging it in. Hey, is it working? No. Do you even know what you're doing? What are you yelling for? I've never seen an engine like this before. Just let me experiment a bit. I want to try. I think this tube goes here. What does this button do? Then, uh, who cares? Just push it. You're the one who's messing around. It obviously goes here. What are you two idiots doing? The gas pipe isn't even connected. Let me do it. Hmm? What does this gas pipe go to? Never mind. This port looks bigger. This is probably it. Uh, hey, somebody try to start it. I'm back. Youngsters nowadays really have no respect for their elders. No one bothered to look for me after I got blasted away. But the high priest, you always come back safe. Everyone's gotten used to it. Stop wasting time. Let's get on with the testing. Yeah, yeah, all right. Big ugly, my child. It's time to wake up. Oh, great chief, it's moving. This wonderful engine sound. I've never heard anything so amazing. Haha, <laughs> told you I'd get it done. How did you do it? Just as you saw, Great Chief, it moved just like that. We plug this tube here and that one there. Just like how, they, how we built the Big Ugly. Good. Ah, the Big Ugly, once but a pile of scrap metal, is now truly majestic. I'm so moved, it makes me want to sing. But you're bad at singing. I'm sorry? <laughs> Fine, I think I have a real talent for singing, though. Terrible. Uh, uh, maybe it's a style problem. Yes, that's right. That has to be the reason. Next time I'll try singing in bel canto. Great chief, someone broke in. Is it Gaviel? I... No, it's a weirdo carrying a pile of weapons. What? Uh-oh. Zumama's tribe should be right ahead. Ugh, look what she's done to her own tribe. It looks pretty cool. Uh-huh, it seems pretty lively inside. Huh? Why are they fighting? Well, I've got an idea. Reunion. You're trying to steal Kay's name now. There's something even more precious than honey biscuits. You'll pay for this. Gah! Where did this weirdo come from? She's too strong. I can't understand what she's saying. What's a reunion? Eh? Isn't that Kay? Oh yeah, that reminds me. Yeah, it was interesting seeing yeah, the quote, swimsuit end quote, that uh, Rassant was wearing, because I'm pretty sure that's art from one of her one of her skins. And while I know that the the outfit that uh, Utage has was also made into a skin for her, yeah, it's interesting to see sort of the reverse happen with uh, Croissant, because I'm pretty sure that skin wasn't originally, or that, yeah, design didn't originate from this event. And yeah, the, the much oranger cast to her skin was also a consequence of sort of the the lighting in that the scene depicted in that skin whereas in this without that context of the background it does look a little bit more like she's just tanned very aggressively very quickly but yes anyway that was my little digression i had meant to mention that earlier sounds like Kay's making a ruckus in here in there Let's calm her down first. Okay, stop. Alright, well, she's not listening to me, it seems. Stay focused. 
Hmm, slugs. Slugs and uh, relatively low uh, DP to start out with. Defensive rune. Hmm, okay. Myrtle can deal with slugs two at a time, but will she be able to handle more? Uh, certainly not, but... Um... So yeah, it looks like we're going to need a little bit more defense. We might need uh, more defense uh, immediately, actually. Ooh, this might not be good. Um, okay. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, we've lost. So, let's try that again. I'm not giving up yet. Actually... Given what we've just experienced, this is probably a good opportunity for an entirely different type of vanguard. So, real quick, so that I don't give the game away, so to speak. Um, Myrtle. If we switch over, we probably won't need Myrtle. Um, who do we want to use? You know what? Let us make use of I'm ready. Bloom. Yeah, she's another Vanguard that I'm particularly fond of. But yeah, I haven't used her much, as you can see from the fact that she's pretty low level. She's also a 3-star, so her level cap is low in addition to her current level being low. Probably she'll be fine with dealing with slugs, but anyway... But yeah, so anyway, Plume is a type of Vanguard known as a Charger. So that means that she has a relatively low cost. It means that she can be uh, retreated for her full cost. And it means that her every time she defeats an enemy, she will gain 1 DP. And she is able to deal with the slugs a little bit quicker, it seems like. This might not have been the best spot to put Bee Hunter. But we probably don't have a whole lot better going for us, I don't think. Um, I'm definitely worried about all the stuff that's happening here. Um, cause yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, we should have uh, blocked more faster, but okay. So. Probably... well, no. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, Plume is not in a great spot, but we can, as I said, retreat her without much issue. So, we've gotten through the initial, the initial wave. I don't really like the situation that we're in. To a cacao brave. After being blocked, reduce the defense of both itself and the blocker. And I didn't see the rest of that. Um, so yeah, Cora is not able to keep up right now. Um, well, okay. So it definitely looks like this mission is going to take place in distinct phases. Yes, Bee Hunter is probably not going to benefit us too tremendously right now. She maybe would be a decent choice as sort of a backup. Um... Ooh, this is uh, bad, actually, because uh, Cora can't be healed effectively here. Um, hmm, okay, so things have gone very badly. We do have another defender in the wings, but... Um, okay, okay, we might be able to... Okay, Asthesia... Hmm, 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 hmm. Alright, so. I'm very much not liking anything that's happening here, but we are surviving, so it could be worse. Um, hmm. So, that defense lowering is uh, no joke. So, things have escalated quite quickly. Um, yeah, we need those uh, Braves defeated uh, fast. Yeah, we cannot stand up to this. Okay. Hmm. Darn it. I'm not giving up yet. 
<laughs> this might need some more thinking. Okay, so we're not facing the big ugly thing, it seems like. At least, I think if there was more enemies here, we'd see them. Yes, well, only only to receive damage from the unit blocking it. Okay, and the defense of both units is decreased. So yes, we've got Impalers. I think the Impalers were coming from the left-hand side, if I was paying attention. I don't think there were any coming on the right. And the reason why I think about this is because I'm thinking about switching to a D-cell binder here and perhaps here. We need a lot of... Yeah, a lot of AoE damage up on this part very quickly. Because, yeah, things will very, very rapidly get out of hand up there. So, yes. Um, Blaze could probably also be a good choice. Maybe swap her in. I don't know who I'd swap her in in place of, but... Yeah, to complement Estelle, not to replace her, just to be clear. Um... Given, given the circumstances, it might be good to swap out, uh, it might be good to swap out Bee Hunter too, so, bum, 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 bum. we will switch out for, I guess the question is, do we want another Charger to deal with the early enemies, or do we want a, Vang or a Vanguard that, uh, a Pioneer or something like that who can deal with enemies over time? Hmm. It's a good question. But yeah, anyway. One way or the other, we definitely need those Braves gone. And I'm not 100% sure how to do that just yet. But anyway, we're switching over to another Vanguard, like I said. I'll learn from other battle techniques. Vigna. Um, so, what else do we need to think about? I suppose we can start... We can look at the myth in the map once the mission has started. Save us a little bit of time. Okay, friendlies. so we can deploy melee units along there. We can't deploy melee units here, so that's going to inform some of our decisions. Though I'm not 100% sure what to make of that yet. I didn't switch out to a D cell binder like I said I was going to, but I'm probably going to regret that. Um, we'll just say that this is another scouting run, so to speak. So, bloom. Placing our units further up would probably give us a little bit more leeway with perfumer and all that. Um, but yes, we do have the slight issue of, you know, bloom and Vigna. Both being pretty low level and not at all uh, prepared for what they are going to have to endure. Especially not Vigna, who is um, definitely in a bad spot. Um, okay, we need another temp. We need... How can we, how can we deal with this? Um, under... Uh, Given the circumstances with the Braves, it might be best not to... Okay, okay, we've got healing now, or we can have healing now. Um, and so I will gladly accept healing now. Okay. But yes. I don't know if I mentioned it, but the Chargers also get... Uh, or no, yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. They get attack back, or... EP back every time they kill an enemy. So yes, so we can't, we cannot, we definitely can't. Um, more specifically, we can't deploy onto these tiles, which is bad. Um, given circumstances, this is probably the best we can manage here. But uh, the best we can manage is not spectacular, it seems like, because that brave is surviving. Hmm. So, we do have Impalers coming from the right-hand side, so Jessica was probably a decent choice. 
maybe not the best, but she's something. The left is doing surprisingly well, but I'm not confident that that's going to remain the same. Utage is probably one of the worst choices I could have made here, but it's she's probably not the absolute worst. If we can stun the enemy, and that's a big if, but if we can stun the enemy, that would be big. Um, yeah, we can't get consistent stuns, though. Okay, Perfumer's doing good. Perfumer's doing good, what with the... Yeah, doing good, providing passive healing to our allies who desperately need it. But yes, Utage is surviving, for lack of a better word, um, but not for long if I don't have her take a nap. Um, I'm very worried. Uh, yeah, I don't think that Croissant's going to stand up to much more of this, um, which is very bad for us. But yes, Utage. Ooh, okay, now we've got more Braves. Ooh, um... All right, so we need to turn this around. Though I guess mm, that doesn't really benefit us that much because they can only be damaged by the F the unit blocking them. Um, so we've just lost another defender. Um, I was that was foolish of me. Um, yes, we need to get rid of Gaviel, sadly. Um, um Utage and leave. She doesn't need to take a nap. She just doesn't need to be here. Um, so, the Brave's not super tough or anything. But, at the same time, we are out of options for healing. And Asthesia is out of healing range. Um, I guess this is the worst thing in the world. We will win. I'm confident of that much. Hmm. A win's a win, I guess. But, yeah, I should have looked into more what we could do to counter the Braves. I can't believe reunion here is so tough. Hmm. I won't lose to you. <laughs> the silly girl. Wake up. Hmm? Where am I? Oh, it's Caviel. Everyone else, too. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Doctor. Looks like she's back to her senses, at least. Hey, you remember how you got here? Um, I forgot. Alright. Come lie down. I'll check and see if there's anything wrong with you. Don't run off again. Okay... Eh, where are we? We're... Mm, it's a long story. Just lie down already. Oh! Gaviel, what are you doing? Ugh, that's a long story, too. Just let me work. Ten minutes later. Alright, everything looks okay. Go wait with the doctor and don't wander off. If you do it again, there's it's no more honey biscuits for you. Okay, honey biscuits. Are you done? I'm done. So now can you tell me what you're doing, Gaviel? <sighs> I said it's a long story. Short version is I'm here to look for you. You're not getting the engine back. That too, but there's another reason I'm looking for you. Another reason? Do you have your people mining ore? Yes. Gaviel, I never took you for the sore loser type. Are you that broken up about being beaten by the big ugly thing? No, your big ugly whatever is great. I'm totally fine with that. But, if you're putting your people at risk of orpathy infection for the sake of some ore, then as a doctor I have no choice but to stop you. Huh? Orpathy? 
Oh, you're talking about the stone disease. I'm not putting anyone at risk. Huh? I told them many times to stay away from the depths of the mine. But your people are getting infected. There's always someone who doesn't listen. I can't control them all. Isn't that right, Yogi? Yes, my brother wanted to dig out more ore for the great chief, so he went deeper into the mine. Huh? Why didn't you say so earlier? You didn't ask. That's pretty important. Well, <laughs> you really didn't ask, but, um, we're going to be nice to Gaviel. We're her friend. Sin. You told me they don't take oropathy seriously here. Ah, <sighs> fine. Also, hey, why are you taking your clothes off? Huh? Your body. I've been running around the mine ever since I was a kid. It's only natural I would get the stone disease. I dare say no one knows better than me where the diseased rocks are. All right, then. My mistake. Sorry for accusing you, Zoomama. It's fine. Eh? That's all it took? We're all good now? Isn't everybody supposed to stubbornly stick to their guns until we all end up in one big honking battle? You shouldn't hope for stuff like that. Well, too bad. <laughs> eh, then let's talk about the other thing. You have our engine, don't you? Yes. Can you return that to us? We can't leave without it. No. If you want to leave, I can have someone escort you. No good. Calcite will get mad. You won't hand it over no matter what? No matter what. Oh, looks like we're going to fight after all. Looks like it. That was the plan from the very beginning. Huh, are we fighting that? Fun. <clears throat> oh, I keep I keep forgetting the voice I gave the high priest. Hello. Nice to meet you. High priest, why did you bring the big ugly out? Huh? Aren't we going to fight Gabiel? Uh do we not need it? If not, I'll drive it back. I still want to test the engine. You need it, but not now. I still have something to say. Oh, all right. Uh, you have your talk first, then. Uh, call me when you want to fight. Sure. Hey, what was that? That about an engine? That's right. Your engine is powering the big ugly right now. If you want it, you'll have to fight for it. <laughs> Deal. Come with me. We'll see who comes out on top. Do better. I can't get complacent we could do better. But I think we'll have to save doing better for later. Because, yeah. Hmm. 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 So, yes. When blocked, the unit will only receive damage from the unit blocking it. That's definitely. Definitely an issue for us. Because, yeah, we don't have. Actually. I just realized we do have a very good option for dealing with, with units like this. And that is our other favorite girl. Yes. Wherever I put her. Um, but yeah, anyway. Cement. Cement can deal with that. That is what she is built for. But yeah, I don't... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what the time to kill for Cement would be like. But definitely better than, say... Uh, definitely better than Croissant and... She'd probably live longer too. Yeah, let's see. Because yeah, croissant. I don't know what her attack speed is like. Let me check that actually. Good thing I've still got the wiki up. Croissant. Alright, croissant. Uh yeah, 323 and elite two max or elite one max two or max max. <laughs> Just max level. Um and then, yeah, it was Cement is the other do list that we have, or the only do list that we have, I'm pretty sure. The only one I can remember off the top of my head, anyway. But yeah. So, Cement does attack slower, but she does have substantially more attack. Because, yeah, Croissant has, yeah, 3, 323, and an attack interval of 1.2. 
Cement has an attack interval of 1.6, but she has a whopping 831 attack. But yeah, health is pretty similar, defense is pretty similar. But yeah, the very significant difference in attack would probably help with the... Yeah, help with them. Especially using uh, Stratum Ground Breaker, I think. But yeah, Blueprint Corrections will also be helpful. Because yeah, that is a big, tough enemy with big, tough damage. So, I don't want to have to endure that too, too much. Plus, Blueprint Corrections being able to hit multiple, or uh, Stratum Groundbreaker, rather, being able to hit multiple targets will help if we get more than one, if we get more than one on us. But yeah, I don't think we're going to have a much better choice than Cement. I think she's just about perfect for this role. But yes. Cement, Cement, Cement. Where did I put Cement? Well, I... Where did I put her implies that she went anywhere. Um, but yeah, Cement would probably be the best choice of the ones that we have yet. She is fairly expensive, but the Braves don't show up for a good while. But yeah, again, we'll have to do more planning later. But yeah, our Chargers did good. Plume and... I mean, honestly, I was expecting to have to switch out Plume and uh, Vigna a lot sooner than I did. Really, I didn't have to switch them out at all, basically. They stood around to the basically the end of the mission. But yeah, I could have switched them out earlier, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, Estelle and or another... Uh, Centurion Defender, or Estelle and another Centurion Guard would probably be good. Utage held her own very well with her self-healing, but I don't think she really has the survivability needed to deal with the Braves if we were to use her in that role again. Because yeah, she does have good damage, and she does have good survivability, but she doesn't have quite good enough survivability if there happens to be more than one. And since her big heal requires her to take a nap, uh, that's not so great for us. But yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh, did they... They changed the name of the branch. That's interesting. Because, yeah, they... Solo Blade is not what, what they used to be called, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Interesting. I'm getting distracted here, but I, uh, now I need to, yeah, yeah, it used to be called, uh, Musha Guards. Interesting. Yeah, they, okay, they changed that in the update with the most recent patch. That's odd. I don't know why they did that, but, uh, I guess it's no matter. Anyway, where was I? Something. Okay. I guess we also have uh, Noir Corn, who has a little bit more emphasis on survivability. But anyway, once again, that's neither here nor there. We need to wrap stream up. So, let's wrap stream up. So, thank you for joining me tonight. It has been good. It has been good playing Ark Knights. It's always a little bit weird whenever I sort of get off the tempo getting back to streaming, but it's never quite as, never quite as challenging as I think it's going to be. Oop. But yes, everything went just fine. I didn't forget how to stream in the, I don't know, three, or no, yeah, two more days, I think, than I expected since my last stream. But yes, um... Um, 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 I think that should be most of the, the things that need to be said. So, Ark Knights, uh, Friday, we will be seeing another stream. Again, we will see what it will be when it happens. Um, yeah, 8.30 p.m. Central Time for that. Once again, I encourage you, if you, especially if you have stood around this long, stayed around this long, I would very much appreciate, you know, whatever interactions you decide on really helps with the uh, encouraging encouragement and all of that um yeah so raid 
If anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I am able to figure out a target on my own, and indeed I have one that is uh, a particularly prominent one in mind right now, but I wouldn't mind if anyone else has any suggestions. Forgot to say that before we got started on the business talk, but you know, it is what it is. Tip. <clears throat> yes. No suggestions, it looks like. So, I do believe we're going to go and visit our good friend, Judo Kamen. Yes, who is uh, hosting a D&D session. Yeah, it's first time game mastering, it seems like. And yeah, from what I understand, this is the second part. Maybe, maybe not second, but it's the... It is not the first part. It is uh, a part after that of a one-shot. And I know very little else of what's going on, so... Anyway, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And so... Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you've had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>